It's a lovely day to walk down the road, and if I ever stop singing, I will explode. Hey! What have you done? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Forgotten Mobile Suits. I'm the Shirt Lad, here with the EMS-10 Zuda, which is quite the museum piece. This model I'm holding in my very hand is the EX vs Full Boost version, which handles very similarly to its MS Igloo counterpart. It is a very early mobile suit model, featuring the experimental Saturn engine and, as I mentioned earlier, this is the Full Boost version, piloted by the late Jean-Luc Deval, and costing a thousand points. Well then, let's have a peek at its arsenal. Its primary weapon is the 120mm Zaku machine gun. It can fire a total of 48 shots per magazine, which can be manually reloaded. It might not hit as hard as other moves, but it comes in handy for close to medium ranges, since it can be fired on the go. As for the sub-weapon, the Zuda is given a 3-shot anti-ship rifle, chambered in 135mm. It's a heavy hitting gun which has a somewhat slower startup and stops you in place as you fire. However, you can hold down the input alongside the direction to manually aim the shot, which also removes the shot's tracking properties. This gimmick is somewhat challenging to get used to, but it can be very useful once mastered. Your special ranged weapon is the shield mounted Sturmfoss. In fact, you get a pair of them and both reload fairly swiftly. There's also an assist which serves as Zuda's special melee. You basically call fellow Zuda units that rely on their engine and explode into the enemy's general direction. They have great tracking and hit pretty hard, but unfortunately, just like the Zaku 2 Kai's assist move in full boost, these don't seem to replenish over time, which is a problem since they are useful for certain advanced moves such as free falls. Maxibus does rectify this issue, but this is the full boost Zuda we're speaking of, so any and all restocks of the Zuda assists are provided either by bursting or respawning. Well then, let's get to the melee combos. If the melee button is held for a certain amount of time, you enter a state where your machine becomes faster, your Zaku machine gun gets infinite amount of ammo, and your anti-ship rifle gets 6 shots instead of 3. Most games refer to this mode as a special attack mode, though most players tend to go for the less PG-13 name of suicide mode. Since this overclocked state lets you do yourself in by charging the melee input again, Suicide is badass. Now to be fair, that move deals a fairly decent amount of damage, so it's more or less a less flashy version of the Zuda's burst attack. And yes, you can manually detonate by tapping the melee input again, thank you for asking. Speaking of the burst attack, it's a melee charge, during which is the opponent impaled onto the Zuda's shield spike as the machine accelerates and goes up in flames. Definitely something for you firework enjoyers out there. Overall, I'd call the Zuda a solid low-cost unit. When played well, it can put a lot of pressure on the enemy team, and its mobility is fairly solid. This, of course, is offset by the rather pitiful health pool, so your best bet is to stay moving, which fits the unit's hit-and-run playstyle. If you like playing with the Live Leak logo in the corner of your screen, this is the machine for you. Well, that should cover one of the requested mobile suits. Thank you to Zephyr the Robot for requesting this one, it's been quite a long time coming, so I hope it was worth the wait. I'm off to work on more stuff, thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you on the next one. Shirtblade, signing out.